Clients are at the very core of our business, so developing and maintaining relationships at every level of our clients' organizations must be our top priority. Not only are we looking to inspire trust and confidence in ourselves and the WSP brand, but we also want to build a strong foundation for the company to better serve our clients' needs and, also, be more successful in pursuing and delivering their projects. So how do we foster relationships that truly stand the test of time and allow us to better understand the challenges and concerns our clients face each and every day? The answer? Engage with impact. Every opportunity to engage and interact with our clients must be planned and executed with intent and purpose. Prepare, listen, ask questions, give ideas, solve problems. Every time you interact with a client, your objective should be to create real value and show your commitment to helping them be successful. The following video is part of a series we've called Engage with Impact. Each video shows a step in the process from the call planning, which should happen before a client meeting to establish your objectives, to the execution of your plan during the meeting, how to document what was learned, and then how to strategically target follow-up actions for your team. These videos will help WSP staff learn to plan and execute more effective client interactions and adopt good working practices which will serve them throughout their careers. Good morning. So today's call plan is to prep for the meeting with Stacy Fudd. Stacy's one of the PMs at CDOT Region 2. She's also the liaison for CDOT's funding committee. So CDOT is letting $70 billion worth of construction over the next 10 years. And Stacy really knows how that money is going to be allocated over across the Denver area. So we want to understand Region 2's priority projects, funding gaps, and project delivery challenges. Good point. So at the meeting, Stacy's bringing her construction division manager, Ricardo Pena. So today we want to get a clear picture of who's going to attend the meeting, uh, what we want to learn from Ricardo and Stacy, and the value that we want to provide to Ricardo and Stacy. Lisa, let's start with you. What is your analysis of CDOT's transportation plan? Tell us. Well, the I-70 program is getting a bulk of the funding, a billion dollars over the next three to five years going towards widening, rehab, and operational improvements. Latest word is that it will be procured as one large design build opportunity. State Highway 30 and State Highway 45 are the other two corridors that they'll be focusing on in the next three years as well. Right. Regarding I-70, CDOT's getting a lot of pressure not to use tolls, so they're looking for some quick wins with operational improvements. The owner's representative contract for I-70 design build is critical to the office, and we need to make sure we continue to track that. Let's ask Stacy for an update on the project. And I'll check our log of CDOT on-call contracts. We may be able to do some of the operational improvement projects through on-calls. Okay, good point. We don't know much about the State Highway 30 and 45 projects. We need to get smarter before we meet with Stacy and Ricardo. Courtney, can you take a look at the online documents from the recent public hearing and see what we still need to learn? Okay, sure, I can do that. So one last thing, CDOT's Ready to Let program requires that all utilities be relocated and that right away be acquired before construction. This is actually proving to be a problem with one of our current projects as we're struggling to do some of our utility relocations. Let's ask Stacy if they're open to doing some over-the-shoulder reviews. I think this would help in solidifying the design faster and so that might free up some time for utility relocation. Good thought, and an idea that the other regions may pick up as well. It'll show we're adding value at the project level. Thanks, Lisa. Okay, this has been a productive call plan meeting. Based on what we want to learn and who we want to involve in the future, I suggest Lisa join me at the meeting with Ricardo and Stacy. I'll lead the discussions, but Lisa, you should carry the conversation on active projects. I'll take notes during the meeting and afterwards prepare the client contract report. Then we can meet and triangulate on what we heard and determine what our follow-up actions are. 